In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the ignition lock cylinder in this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. We're gonna disconnect the battery, the negative terminal right here. Just use a 10 millimeter wrench. Loosen up the nut. Once that's loose, then you can grab the cable. Pull that off. And just slide that out of the way, just like that. Pull this fuse box cover off, just grab underneath and slide it out. Now I'm gonna take these two screws out. I'm gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver. Take those out. There's a bolt behind this lever right here. Just pull this parking lever forward. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Slide that bolt out. And you can take the lever. It should slide, slide toward the front of the vehicle just to disconnect that. And this whole panel, you should be able to grab this whole panel slide it towards the back of the vehicle and it's just clipped in. Now in the steering wheel adjuster, you wanna just grab it and pull it straight out. If it's kind of a struggle, you wanna use a trim tool, just get behind it and just try to pry, pry out. They normally don't come out too difficult. This one's a little tricky, but just pries out. Now the bottom part of the steering column, we're just gonna grab and just pull it down should slide down like that. And the top piece, we're just gonna grab that and just pull it straight up and out of the way. We're gonna take the ignition key and put it in as if you're cranking the engine. And then you're gonna take a pick and there is a small hole right on top of this housing. Push on that hole and the cylinder comes out just a little bit and you wiggle it and it comes out the rest of the way. We're gonna take the tumblers out so that we can code the new cylinder. If you don't, if you already know the key code, you don't have to do this step. You can just take each individual tumbler and put it in its correct place using the key and just checking it. But we don't know it, so we're gonna take these out. This will be the easy way to do it. This bottom tumbler is gonna come out this way, so we have to push it in from the back side. I'm just gonna use a skinny pick just get that started and you can see it popped out a little bit. I'm just going to use some needle nose pliers just to grab it. And it slides right out. And on the tumbler, you can see what number it is. And this happens to be a number one. We have a number one and we have a small spring. So first you want to put the spring in. You can see there's a little wider gap on that side of where the tumbler goes. Put the spring in and take the number one. And slide it in position and it should lock down just like that. I'm going to tip it over. Do the same for the other ones. Take the next one out. And the next one is a number three. So find the number three tumblers and a spring. And when you get them all in, again, double check. And that little plate's going down, so that looks good. 
And I just take this lubricant, just push that just all around both sides of where the tumblers are. You can try to press it in a little bit. And just coat that. That's good. Now we can reinstall it in the vehicle. Take the lock cylinder and just line it up the same way it came out. Twist it out. You can give it a try a couple times. Make sure it's not binding up and it looks good. Take the top cover, line it up, push it down. You can get the shifter boot lined up. All right, that's lined up. And then with this all the way forward, you can lock it in place. Just like that. And get the bottom one lined up. You wanna keep in mind of the boot on the other side as well. With that lined up, just snap it in place. That's good. Put the lever in place, just lock it in. Then we'll take the screws, get those started. That's good. And one right here. Tighten those down. Now take the parking release handle lever, line that up, pull it forward. Then you can take that 10 millimeter bolt, get that started. Just pull it out. Tighten that down and take the cover, line it up. Lock it down. Now take the cable, line that up, and connect the battery. And take your wrench, tighten this down. Make sure that's snug, just give it a wiggle. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.